Hey guys, so today I have this ginormous box here. It's from a friend slash subscriber down in Oklahoma. She was kind enough to send me up some of the new, new, <laughs> because they're no longer new, but when she sent them they were, the new Halloween range. So calling it super close, Halloween is in two sleeves, three sleeves. So awesome timing on this one. So I'm really, really, really excited to check these products out because I didn't really make it into a Lush when they had all their Halloween stuff out. I was too busy finding a job and being responsible and also not so responsible and sleeping a lot. <laughs> I'm just gonna bust into this right away and check what's inside of it because it smells fantastic and I just, I don't know if I can wait any longer to see what's inside this box. So, I'm gonna open up with you guys here and I hope you guys enjoy. These aren't the best scissors to be doing this with, to be honest. <laughs> the unsafeness is real. Oh, the smell just got so much more. Oh, oh, so excited. This is the best kind of present that I could ever ask for, to be honest. Ever. Ooh, peanuts. And these, if I am correct, are biodegradable. Go lush. <laughs> Get this out of the way. Okay, so the first thing on the top here is this little witch bottle that she made me. I pulled up the information that she sent me on it. She says there's cypress tree leaves for wisdom and strength through hard times, wisteria leaves for grace and beauty and power of taking control, small piece of amethyst to keep both of our minds focused and clear, stormwater to cleanse away negative and negative thoughts, negativity and negative thoughts. Two acorns to represent both of us. Acorns symbolize growth and growing upward. Cedar leaves to inspire strength and everlasting stamina through bad times. So, amazing. This is so thoughtful and so meaningful. I'm gonna cherish it for a little bit until Justin is back with me and then I've been told and instructed to bury it. So. We will definitely be doing that together. Whether or not he believes in that kind of thing, I'm dragging him along with me to do it. So really, 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 really cool and so sentimental and sweet. And I just feel all the good vibes. I'm gonna regret that later. <laughs> This one here, Lord of Miserule. I know that. Thank you so much. This is actually by far one of my favorite Lush scents ever. Alongside Cinders, which apparently they don't have this year. What? I wish my existence smelled like this. Ooh! Is this what I think it is? It is! is a little jack-o'-lantern bomb. He did get a little bit dented up in here, but that's okay. That's okay. So cute. Oh, he smells really woodsy. Smells like I'm like literally laying underneath like a cedar tree or something. Oh, that's so good. I've seen a couple demos online of this one, specifically on her page, which I will link below her Instagram page just so you can check her out. She's the sweetest, sweetest girl. Woo! Strong. This one's the Autumn Leaf. I've seen some demos and it changes the color of the water quite a lot, so... This one's even more earthy than the other one was. Holy... This one's like graveyard dirt is what this smells like. Very Halloween-y. <laughs> There's so much in here, girl. Mm. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. The 
This is like foresty. I don't know the name of this one. Have absolutely no idea. But this one also very woodsy, very earthy, but kind of like a floral earthy, you know, less like dirt, more like a floral perfume. Kind of like flowery while being woodsy. So good. Ooh, what does that smell like? That's familiar. Oh. Oh, he's so cute. It's a little monster bomb. He's got a little eyeball. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. But he smells so familiar. Oh, he smells like the Calacas or Calacalas? Calaca? Oh my god, I can't even pronounce it. It's like the Mexican like lime soap. Calacalacas? Calac... Shit. I give up. I give up. Okay, but he smells like that, which is from like a long time ago. I bought a perfume from like the Lush Kitchen before there was a Lush Kitchen kind of thing with this scent so long ago. <sighs> wow. Wow. I should check if this is still on the website and buy like a lot more of them. <sighs> yes. Oh, so cool. This is like endless. Ooh, what's this, what's this? What are you? It's orange. I'm gonna have to ask her what this is. But it smells so good. It's spicy, it's so spicy. It's like, it's like if cinders had like a grandparent that smells like like old people spice is that weird <laughs> i don't know oh this is so up my alley oh, this is another one that i wish like i could smell like all the time Ooh, i was in need of this this is a little hair treatment on a stick it's called tangled a hot oil treatment so you melt it somehow I'm, I'm gonna look into it and you put it on your hair like you would like a coconut oil or something so cool oh it smells good too it smells like a spa very coconutty I don't know if there's coconut in it but it smells like coconut and this one was made in Canada so that's kind of funny I think a lot of maybe a lot of the things were because we have a factory in Vancouver actually so it'd be kind of funny if it was sent from Canada to you and then sent from you to me in Canada because that would be just pretty funny to me yay one is the the lava lamp lava lamp bath bomb this one I asked for oops <laughs> lost a little dude this one I asked her specifically for because I hadn't tried it yet so I was like if you're if you're gonna be sending it, I'd love to try this. It's very like refreshing. It's almost like mandarin orange. Mm. I don't know if it's supposed to smell like oranges, but to me, that's what I'm picking up on. Very fresh, fresh, fresh. Girl! You did not need to give me the huge one. Oh my god. She knows that I use this religiously. It's ocean salt face scrub. It's like the exfoliator. <sighs> oh. <gasps> Thank you. Oh my gosh. It's huge. Oh, yum. I did not expect this huge tub. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I just went to Lush like two days ago and asked them for a sample of this because I was totally running out. I was like scraping the sides. So now I have a tiny little sample for travel and this fucking honker. Oh my god. What do I, what do, I do to deserve this from, from people? Like you're the best person ever. Ooh! 
<laughs> Little sparkle pumpkin. Oh, it's so, so adorable. I think it's the same scent as last year. Very perfumey, very perfumey. I want to say ylang ylang, but I could be way out in left field with that one. It's like... This one really reminds me of like an old lady's perfume kind of thing. Not in a bad way. It's just very florally perfumey. Which is very odd for a pumpkin to smell like, but what can you do? Oh, so thick and like heavy smelling. And I think this is like a bu bu bubble bar, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Balls. It's so spooky. Oh, <laughs> this is so cool. I want to use it as like a headband when I'm done with it, like for real. Or like sew it onto one of my vests. One of those things I will certainly be doing with this. Oh, cool. There's so many things in here. <laughs> There's some toothy tabs. This is like toothpaste. This is perfect, oh my gosh, I'm going on a trip. I'm flying, I'm going on a trip soon. And I was worried about bringing my toothpaste. I thought about that last night as I'm putting my toothpaste away. I was like, I can only bring a certain amount of like fluid ounces onto the plane and I don't wanna bring a checked bag. What am I gonna do? This is what I'm gonna do. Mmm, so exciting. So limelight toothy tabs. I wonder if they have a scent. Oh, it's closed, sealed for my safety. Oh. Ooh, that's good. I'm gonna use one of these tonight. Absolutely. They smell so good. They look like they'll last a long time, too. Awesome. You just crunch it in your teeth, use the wet toothbrush, and brush as per usual. Fantastic. This one's called Sex in the Shower. Ooh. I'm gonna have to look up what this does or what to do with it. I, it looks like one of those things that you pop in the bottom of your shower when you're showering and then it just comes up and like wakes you up and refreshes you. Kind of like a, a fizzy bath thing for your shower. Is that what it is? I think so. Hmm. It has such like a like a lush scent like it smells exactly like the lush store to me and plus like a little bit of I don't know lavender maybe I don't know why would they put lavender in a shower thing that would be weird a lot of the ingredients got rubbed off so I can't read exactly what's in it up you gets yeah I think that's what these are because that's that seems to make sense to me up you gets does it have like a Holy, that's like strong. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Really in a good way. It's like citrusy almost to me. I don't know. That's what I'm smelling. <laughs> Lord of Misrule shower cream. <sighs> like I said, this is probably by far one of my favorite favorite scents by them. It's really such a shame that it's only a holiday product because it really should be a all year round kind of thing. I just want to put it up my nostrils so I can smell it everywhere I go. It's a powdery. Little powdery. Poof, poof, poof. So cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. American Cream Body Lotion. This stuff. I've heard really good things about. I have never tried myself personally, so I feel like she did a really, 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 really good job of like equaling out things that I really wanted to try that I never have before, and then also things that I use religiously or love a lot. <sighs> Ooh, it has a very baby powdery smell. I like how it's a little more runny, meaning. Hopefully it'll absorb into the skin a little bit. 
Ooh, yes. Another hot oil treatment for my hair. Because I could really use that. I could always use that. Ah. Oh. These just... What is it with these? They smell so good. They smell like dessert, almost. And me, like, eating my hair, I'll be like... What? <laughs> Usually Lush stuff is made out of a lot of edible stuff, so... Okay, maybe I won't, but... So this one's called Damaged. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Can use it as a bib. <laughs> that was amazing. I'm in awe. I don't know if there's enough words in the English language, which just so happens to be the only one that I know, to say thank you for all of this. Um, wow. Dumbfounded is a big word for me <laughs> right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for sending all that stuff to me, especially the little witch bottle. Honestly, this says so much to me and everything inside of it is exactly what I need in this crazy time in my life, so thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Honestly, like I cannot, I'm trying, I'm trying to emphasize my thanks. It's just hard to, <laughs> to do with only one word. You're amazing and keep on being the amazing girl that I know you are. Whew. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really appreciate you sticking around to the end. Let me know if you've tried any of these products down in the comments below. I'm extremely interested to hear if you have and what your findings on them were. I'm really excited to try them all out and I'm set until Christmas pretty much. I will see you guys in my next video.